hi guys hey, welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how you can verify your identity on google adsense so guys if you want to know how to do this make sure you follow me to the end of this video and also if you're new to our youtube channel don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment as that would tremendously help grow our youtube channel so guys without any further ado let's get started so guys for you to apply for the verification of your identity on google adsense that means you must have opened or signed up for google adsense and you must have met the verification threshold on google adsense so guys now the next step that you have to take now is to log in into your google adsense account and for you to do that you have to go over to your browser whichever browser that you want to use be it chrome or pramini or phonix just tap on it to open it once you open it what you have to search for is adsense.google.com so guys i'm going to be using chrome browser for this tutorial today so let me tap on my chrome browser right away so guys now you can see i'm on my chrome browser so what i have to search for is adsense.google.com so guys let me go ahead now to type it in adsense.google.com so guys can see it there so let me tap on enter so guys now the next step that you have to take now is to tap on the three horizontal bar at the top left corner can see it there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now the next step to take now is to tap on sign in you can see it there you can see it down there below the arrow is pointing at it once you tap on it you're going to be signed in into your google adsense account so guys let me tap on it right away so guys now you can see my google adsense account is opening let's just wait for a few seconds so guys now you can see i'm logged in into my google adsense account here is the home page of my google adsense account so guys now the next step that you have to take now in order to verify your identity is to tap on the three horizontal bar at the top left corner you can see it there you can see the arrow pointing at it so let me zoom in so you see it clearly let me zoom in let me zoom in again let me zoom in one more time so guys now you can see it clearly you can see the three horizontal bar there so let me tap on it so guys now the next step that you have to take now is to tap on the second option which is written payments you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now the next step that you have to take now is to tap on verification check you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it verification check so let me tap so guys under the verification check what you have to do now is to scroll upwards so let me scroll upwards so guys now you can see what is written here Verify your identity. Confirm your personal information to get your account ready to receive payment. You can see what is written down there as well. Identity verification needs attention. Your payments are on hold. You need to verify your identity to receive payments or ads will stop showing by the social date written there. So guys, now what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written. Take action. You can see down below the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it right away. So guys here now the next step that you have to take now is to tap on where it is written provide some information about yourself to continue you can see it there in that red box you can see the arrow pointing at it so let me tap on it right away so guys now these are the information you need to know about before going ahead to start your identity verification let me read it out loud quickly so i don't waste time with this tutorial i don't want this video to be too long what you will need for verification you need to verify your identity to keep earning on youtube an ID to verify. Number one is driver's license. Number two is passports, which may be your international passport. Number three is your national identity card, which is your national ID card. Then number four is your resident permit. So guys, you learn more about verification. This information you submit will be used to verify your identity. Google may also use this information to protect against fraud and abuse and to improve our verification services for Google products. This verification process is important to help enforce the integrity of Google's service to you and to others and to help ensure compliance with the relevant terms of service. Your verified information will be stored securely in your payment profile and documents you submit will be deleted after the verification process is successfully completed. The information you submit will be used in accordance with the Google privacy policy. So guys, now I believe you've gotten all the information here. So guys, the next step that you have to take now is to tap on where it is written, start verification. You can see it down there, it's on the blue box, the arrow is pointing at it. So let me tap on it right away. So guys, now this is where you begin the process of your identity verification. You can see what is written there. Number one, personal identity. Enter the exact name from your document. 
include your given name and family name if applicable to so make sure we have it right you may update your name to match so guys what you have to do now is to go ahead now to impute your legal name your legal name must match with the name on your id card whichever id card that you want to submit make sure that the legal name is matching with the one on your id card so guys now for you to add your legal name what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written legal name you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it then let me go ahead now to impute my legal name so guys now you can see i've imputed my legal name so guys the next step now to take now is to upload your id you can see it there make sure your document image you upload is readable by following the document upload guideline so guys what you have to do now is to tap on where it is written select id type so let me tap on it so guys now you can see here there are four id types that you can select from the first one is driver's license the second one is passport which is an international passport the third one is national id card the fourth one is resident permit so guys i'm going to go with the third one which is national id card since i'm using national id card for this identity verification so guys let me tap on this right away so guys now you can see i've selected national id card so what i have to do now is to scroll upwards so guys now you can see immediately i tapped on national id card these two options came out front of id and back of id that means i need to submit the front of my id card and the back of my id card so guys what you have to do now is to take the picture of the front of your id card and the picture of the back of your id card you're going to need that to be uploaded here in this platform so guys now let me tap on upload to upload the front of my id and see where the arrow is pointing at let me upload the front of my id so let me tap on the one above let me tap on it So guys now you can see it's directing me to my gallery so let me go over to my gallery now to select the image of the front of my id let me do that right away let me find it right away okay i found it you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it so guys now you can see it's uploading it let's just wait for a few seconds so guys now you can see that's the document of the front of the id you can see it there so guys let me go ahead now to upload the back of id the image of the back of the id and for me to do that what i have to do now is to tap on where it is written upload you can see there the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it let me go over to my gallery then let me look for the image right away there is the image so guys now that's the image right there so let me tap on it so guys now you can see the back of the id is loading so let's just wait for a few seconds so guys now you can see the front of the id and the back of the id is done uploading so guys now the next step that you have to take now is to tap on where it is written next you can see it down below on the right hand side so let me tap on it so guys now this is the second step you can see it there enter your address so guys you have to enter your address it's either you're entering the address on your id card or you're entering your permanent address so guys now what you have to do is to fill up this address information you have to fill up your suburb suburb is the city that is closer to the city where you live in so any city that is close to the city where you live in that's the suburb then over there you can see the city option you have to fill the city where you live in and also the postal code you have to fill the postal code of the area where you live in if you don't know that all you have to do is to go over to your browser and browse the postal code of the area where you live in so guys now over to the state you have to choose the state where you live in as well so guys let me go ahead now to fill in my address right away so guys now you can see i'm done imputing my address i've imputed my address my suburb my city my postal code and the state where i reside in so guys now the next step that you have to do now which is the final step is to tap on where it is written submit you can see down there below on the right hand side the arrow is pointing at it so let me tap on it right away so guys now you can see it's loading let's just wait for a few seconds wow guys can see i've successfully shown you guys how you can be able to verify your identity on google adsense as you can see what is written there verification in progress what you have to do is to wait for just few hours or few days as the case may be they will be sent an email telling you that your identity has been successfully verified you can see what is written there thanks for submitting your information we will review it and get back to you in few days most times this takes few hours then your identity will be verified in rare cases it might take up to a few days or weeks so guys now what you have to do now is to tap on got it so let me tap on got it so guys now i've come to the end of this video and i believe you've got value from this if you did make sure you like subscribe and leave a comment and also if you're new to our youtube channel don't forget to hit the bell notification so that whenever i release a new video you're gonna get notified see you on our next upload bye bye peace